All of you, I think, at this point in this audience have read the opening statement at Nuremberg. If you haven't, it's brilliant. It's in a pamphlet on the outside. You should read it. I think it ought to be required reading in every American law school. The, the famous line, of course, is when Justice Jackson says, you know, the line about that four great nations flush with victory uh, and, and uh, stung with energy or injury would stay the hand of vengeance and voluntarily submit uh, their captive enemies to the judgment of the laws. And here's the ringing part of the line that I think you're seeing in Iraq today. And this is the real echo of Nuremberg. So after I say this, you can go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Justice Jackson said that the, the fact that you would submit these enemies to the rule of law is one of the greatest tributes that power has ever played to re reason. It's interesting that now we've turned it around that at the time that was an exceptional event in international politics and in international law. Today, that's the, the norm. That's what we expect when we talk about the rule of law. And so for the Iraqis to simply say as a people, and the politicians with whom I dealt, and certainly the judges, one judge said to me, my job is to judge, not to murder. <coughs> they understand that principle. And that's the real echo of Nuremberg. That's the real legacy of Nuremberg, not just in Iraq, but in other post-conflict settings.